Hey everyone, setting up an external MIDI controller here in Studio One is fast and easy. I'll show you how. Let's take a look. Typically, an external MIDI device is a piece of hardware equipment used to send data into your computer to trigger a software instrument like a keyboard or drum samples or special effects. An easy way to access that page here from the start page is this link, Configure External Devices. There are lots of ways to get here, but this is presented to you at your start page here in Studio One. Now, as you can see, I don't have any MIDI devices here yet. So let's choose Add. And something I like that Studio One does is it presents you with a list of MIDI controllers made by major manufacturers. So if yours is in this list, just choose it from the drop down, and it'll help you get going. If you don't see it, then you can just choose New Keyboard. For example, I'm setting up a, a new MIDI controller keyboard. And let's set in some parameters here. So let's see. This will give you an idea of who makes it. And it's an older keyboard that I've had kicking around here. Let's see. All right, there. Now, under MIDI channels, this will send information across all of these MIDI channels. Think of these as like, almost like broadcasting TV channels. If you have multiple MIDI devices, then you can unselect them all and choose which one goes from what channel. So this is how you would manage that. If you're only using one, then you can leave it on all and there's no harm done. Now, receiving from, it means the computer, the software is going to be receiving from what? Well, we're gonna choose the UMA25S that I just created. And if I choose that, I should be all right, but I can choose, let's see, uh, UMA25S, send to, it's as if you're sending information to another MIDI controller, which we're not. So I'll choose that for none for now. And I will make this my default instrument input. And it's as simple as that, now choose OK. And there we have it, see? Choose OK again, and let's open up a session. Okay, now let's create a, we can choose instrument track right here and it'll automatically populate an instrument track for you in our session. But if you wanted to have a little bit more control over what's being created, like naming it, for example, you can open the add tracks dialog box. And from type, we're gonna choose instrument and you can even choose the color. Uh, there are also a couple of presets here. I don't have to do much for this. And you could even choose an existing virtual instrument to trigger if I had one there. Now choose OK, and there we go. Now by itself, it's sending information, but we don't hear anything because we don't have any software for it to, to uh, talk to. Open up our browser, and uh, from the browser, let's go to Instruments right there. Now, Presonus comes with a lot. You can use any virtual instrument from any manufacturer that you have. But simply and easily, I'll take in one of my favorites, drag and drop it on the track, and there it go. Now, whatever preset is loaded by default should be triggered. There you go. Now, as I play my hardware physical keyboard, it's mirrored here in the virtual keyboard. And you can also, yes, play it virtually. I've seen people use touch screens, you know, to actually play virtually. A little bit of a lag there, but I've seen that. And I know that technology is definitely coming. So adding an instrument track is pretty easy. Just come up to your preferences and under external devices, you can add any number that you want here and you can control them, manage them from this page. Now you know. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.